Welcome back to Mr. Bunker's Gaming Bunker, everybody. Today we're going to be continuing with Wild Arms. So let's just keep kind of exploring, I guess. Oh, this is Surf, isn't it? Yes, might as well. Let's see if anything has changed here. Okay, so this area, this town basically just does not allow dream chasers in, regardless of who they are. Because of Rudy. Hmm. Alright, so this is another case of Emma telling us to go do something, and then that's pretty much it. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, but here's a brand new area we could never go to before. Cool. Oops. It's probably something in the very center. Let me just check. Yeah. Oh, Golem. Listen to the ocarina play. Hey, buddy. And there's nothing to do here. Cool. I really hate that they only give these prompts once in one piece of dialogue, and then even if you go back and talk to that same person, um, they don't say it again. They don't give you the prompt, so there's no way to really like know if you miss that. And a caravan saw a stone monster in the desert to the northwest of the Temple of Memory. It was the same one display. Oh. Oh, well, there's something. It was a giant covered in armor with fangs coming out of its shoulders. Okay, there we go. Desert to the northwest of Temple of Memory. Gotcha. Northwest Temple of Memory. Easy peasy. Hopefully we'll actually, you know, find something. So, back into the flying machine. Whoosh. And uh, this way. Slip sliding around. Oof, come on. Okay, Temple of Memory. North. West is this way. Whoop, that's a mountain. This way. Oh, wait, there's just mountains in the way. Is that... Is this whole thing just going to be... It is just mountain, isn't it? I think we already tried to get in there. Pretty much the only thing this thing can't do is go over mountains and... Another bottle. Um, going over mountains is pretty much the only thing we need to do right now. And there's the Temple of Memory. So yeah, we can't get into those. Do we have to go back to the Temple of Memory? That doesn't really make sense. What's this? Oh, is that... Yeah, that's another isolated guild. Okay, so... But yeah, let's just follow this coastline back. Get to the nearest town. See if they... Or maybe we need to go back to Baskar. Oh, and that's right. Because uh, Dan in here, who had the wife Anna and with the bracelet and everything, he was the one who first told me about Peguchi. So let's get a little spin in. I looked into this mermaid thing. Witnesses tell me that the mermaid is made of stone. Perhaps a stone robot? Oh, man, so are there multiple golems running around now? Did they just let all of them loose after they studied them? The demons, that is? Oh, boy. The town is full of talk about a giant mermaid attacking ships. Okay, so yeah. Let's get a quick heal up from this kind lady. This proprietress of the hotel. And then we'll start trying to find that mermaid. Let's get Rudy back in front, too. It's been a while. Yeah. Ever since the vortex blocking the entrance to the outer ocean Venice, there have been many attempts by dream chasers to venture into the unknown. Few returned with wealth. Most of them were injured. Some even disappeared. It's rough. There were some guys here offering to work on the boats. We were too busy dealing with the mermaid incident. Every time there's a mermaid attack, there's more debris on the beach. Give me a break, will ya? I'm tired of cleaning up after these incidents. 
Alright. Oh, you liar. I don't see any debris at all. Even if you drop something important from the decks of a ship, you'll always be able to find it on the beaches of the ship graveyard after a few days. I see nothing. Radar sees nothing. There is nothing. It's like lots of towns have new... Er, lots of people in towns have new dialogue, but there's not actually anything new going on there. Hmm, okay, so... We tried Surf, that was a bust. Kieran Abbey, we were just there doing stuff. It wouldn't make sense that that's the next area. But maybe? That's a maybe. Malama Village, we haven't checked in a while, so I guess we're, we're just going down the list at this point. I feel kind of like they just told me to go find something. They were like, go look for the Gemini circuit, and then gave me no information on where it might be. Pub owner wants to talk to me again. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I already did that. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, and did I lose one of the... I did, I lost uh, the goddess one because... I have the love idol. I mean, the love guardian now. Hmm. Yeah, okay. There's nothing else here. Next spot was Baskar, which I actually thought might be somewhere important. So, if Baskar is where I need to go, that's good stuff. So, I already tried St. Centaur, Port Timney, Port Siam. Like, I've kind of been all over the place already. Because I have love... I think I need courage before I can get the hope one. That's what I said before, but I might be wrong. Raftina's rune radiates a dazzling light. Ah. It is the light people's hearts lost long ago. The light I cannot reach alone. Ah, yep, I was right. I kind of just got chills, though, because I finally figured it out partially. We tried Baskar, and there was nothing there. We almost got the Zephyr of Hope, the Wind, Zephyr, whatever, to help us. But we only have one of the Guardians, apparently, and we need both. So, back to our teleport list. We were at Baskar. We already went to St. Centaur, Port Timney, Ship Graveyard, Rosetta Town, Court Siam. We went everywhere. I guess the only place left to check is... with the eels. Oh, boy. Because if this isn't, if someone doesn't have information here, then it's literally just a matter of me roaming around the map until I find another new place. Alright, well I guess we're going to go check in with the village again and hang out with the squogs. See if they know anything new. Oops. Might as well switch over to this and talk to them. Any new dialogue? Well, that would make sense. She's like the welcome person. All right, what about new dialogue with the squogs? Is it a squirrel? Is it a dog? It's a squog. Nope, same thing as always. In the ship graveyard, it seems like I'm supposed to be in the boat to interact, like to get into a battle with the mermaid on the sea or something like that, but I don't have access to the boat right now. And that's the other thing. I don't even know where the boat is. I feel like that's actually kind of an issue. Like, I don't know if they're okay or not, because I don't even know where the boat is. Should I explore? Okay, let me... Yeah. Oh, that was just a message in a bottle. It wasn't an actual item. Good. Okay, and there's this area that I already explored with the golem that doesn't have anything at the moment. Hmm. Oh, oh no, this is Baskar again. God. <laughs> so we got hints about golem locations in a desert and in near ship graveyard. But we didn't, like, run into them necessarily. What's that? What's that over there? Is that the beginning of... Wait, what? What is this? Is this another mountained up area that I can't get to? No. 
No, it is not. This is an area I need to be, I assume. Cool. Man, and I almost started going in a different direction, so at least there's something here. Gemini's corpse. I wonder if the Gemini circuit will be in here. Alright. Uh, I usually whoop, try to stop roughly 40 minutes from now, so let's see if this will take us longer than 40 minutes. Equitus. Sorcerer. Sor Sorceress and the warriors. I am Equitus, the guardian of the sword. My will and my powers have been separated. My powers are sealed in a temple surrounded by an impos imposing mountain range. As payment for reclaiming my powers, I shall give you the secret of my sword technique. Jack's heart fills with images of the sword Equitus. Fast draw hint acquired. Sweet. That was... I don't think... I think that might be the first time we found a fast draw hint in a treasure chest. Cool. I guess we'll have to wait until... Oh man, there are that many bumble walls. Um, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit to figure out what it is. Boop. Aha! Didn't actually work. Bomb disappeared. <laughs> now we have three Valkyries, which is cool that they're all grouped together, so I don't have to worry as much. Oh right, and let's... yeah, that's what I thought. It would be a group attack. Let's do Analyze. Yeah, it only costs one MP, so... Might as well just see what we're working with. Oh, they're fast. Or, they have high... Evade. Parry, I think they call it in this. Ooh, first try, very nice. Cosmic Nova. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, that seemed like the way forward, so... Oh man, but there's another way forward here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Speaking of yeah, okay, let's hit this. Yeah. Because we already learned that fast draw hint, so... We don't really need that many more battles. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, is it jiggling slightly? No, I don't think so. There is a jewel embedded in the statue's chest. Let's say no. Alright, let's say yes. Jewel acquired. Oh. I actually kind of thought that would trigger like a battle. Like... Like it's it was like a sarcophagus or something. Oh, wait. Ah. There were two of those things back when we were closer to the um to where we got the fast draw hint, so maybe we can get a second jewel and um put them both in those. Ooh, look at this. We finally see a second form of the pill bug. Wow, they really stretched that across the entire game. Alright, let's do the two group. And let's try Trickster. And just for fun, because there are so many of them, let's try High Blast so we can hit them all. Wow, they're really fast, but I think that was the whole point of pill bugs. When you first found them, they were so fast they could just run away. First turn, almost every time. As nothing is good. And High Blast is very good. <laughs> Alright. We're getting decent experience here, but not crazy amounts, so nothing really worth using a... Lucky card on yet. How... I must have to go... Ooh, Black Pass. Crestcraft. I must have to go around, um, another way. Probably. Either through here or through the one back there. Let's see if this leads back up. 
<laughs> I went into my menu thingy, I had to change party members, but I, that's just because I couldn't tell because I was invisible. Jewel. Put the jewel in. Yeah. Phaser arm acquired. And starts at 70, that's pretty strong. Phaser beam gun. Oh, oh, wait. Maybe the laser and phaser ones? Laser and phaser. Um, don't do like physical damage. Maybe that's the whole point. Maybe I'm an idiot. But I guess it doesn't matter. When I attack with Rudy, I typically am just trying to do physical damage. Let's see, can I take this back out? And it moves back in place. Good, 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 good. Alright. Ah, wrong thing. Invisible. Back to Rudy, because I like Rudy. Alright, what's over here? Oh. Back to hand pan, because I like hand pan. Alright, so far this has just been treasures. Oh boy. Let's give it a try. And then we're going to double back. Lucky card. Pretty lucky. Okay. We're going to double back to that other stairs leading down. The one that we had to blow up. Oh, another gem, eh? Oh, and it was on the other side here, so we couldn't see it. A jewel acquired. Okay. Oops. Back in that. Okay. Off we go. Oops, too far. I forgot. And this way. I don't remember what this one looks like, but then again, I don't remember what Bazooka looks like either. I could try that. Let's, let's try Phaser, because that's against a single. And we'll do Trickster, but I bet they just give um, something like medicine or something. Oh yeah, and I wonder what they steal from me. Because Harpies stole items. Has nothing. Cool. Uh, Harpies stole items. Siren stole Gela. I wonder if these ones can like do an MP steal or something like that. That would kind of make sense, right? Ooh, that was pretty cool, Rudy. I liked that. All right, oh. A jewel from a statue's chest. Pass for the black market, okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure I remember what that is. Let's flip the one gala coin and it's heads. It's pretty lucky. I felt like there was something I wanted to do in the menu, but I've forgotten. Hmm. A jewel is missing. Do I get to hold on to one of the jewels? Yeah. So I need to get hand pan over there, but I also need Rudy over there for that bombable wall. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Pouch. Two times Kella 25% of the time. Whatever. That's just weird. I do not remember that weapon, or that equipment at all. Although that is really common for like every single JRPG. Oh, damn it. Okay. Although this probably is where we're supposed to go to continue, but let's find out. I'm usually pretty wrong about that, but that looks pretty right. Oh, and I didn't take... Oh, I can't take the, st the jewel back from that other statue. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Just get to use our tools a whole bunch. Ah, here's another gem. Or jewel, excuse me. Oh, but does that mean... Yeah, we won't be able to come back to this one, will we? I don't trust it. Oh, boy. I feel like that's kind of more permanent than we want it to be. Let's see how just attacking goes. I think we're actually leveled up enough for that. Or strong enough for that, I should say. 
Hey, look at his little guard pose. That was cute. That Valkyrie is almost gone. Oh, come on. Arm lock on, rocket cannon. Oh, but it doesn't matter. He's so freaking slow. Let's do Sonic Vision. And... Summon Guardian. Something hit, please. <laughs> There we go. Much better, much better. Okay, so I'm really... I really feel like this way is going to be... to continue on to that save point and whatnot. So let's go to this... Oops, it's not this one anyway. And I didn't go invisible. That's why I got into a battle. <laughs> Ooh. Iron Maiden. So let's let's try Bazooka on these guys. Let's try Trickster on the Iron Maiden, and just do Valkyrie. It's not much different, but okay. Another has nothing. Has nothing. Okay, so yeah, they've really made this whole area like Trickster free. Maybe now the game wants you to more or less just focus on more complicated ways of getting super good items. Aw. Oh, kind of upset that missed because that was really cool. I actually want to do that again. Let me get one more bazooka in. And a regular attack and a regular attack. Ah, oh, with a counter attack this will probably be... Oh, zero damage. Whoops. I didn't realize that. Should have been paying attention. Look at him jump. <laughs> he didn't even like do a jump, he just kind of like, raised into the air. Like no jump animation. <laughs> okay. Oop. Invisible. Alright, we're gonna go over there. We're gonna put that jewel in. And if we get stuck down there and can't come back, I'm gonna be pretty upset. But that wouldn't make sense, because there's no way they'd let you avoid the save point. I just get two more jewels? Oh. Maybe I need these two extra jewels. So I wasn't going anywhere out of order. Man. <laughs> Alright, take this one back. Yep, you can slide back into place. Alright, so now we have three jewels. That's much better than getting rid of one, or our last one. Yeah, this way. I'm not taking a single step outside of invisibility. I kind of wish there was a grappling spot around here, too. That would make this a little bit quicker, but that would kind of defeat the purpose then, I suppose. All right. No cracked walls. One that goes down. One that goes to a save point. So this seems like healing station, but maybe not. I feel like there might be another chunk and then a boss battle, but just in case there is, just in case I'm wrong, let me... I think this is, yeah, done. All right, that's fine. And these guys are too tough, really, so that's that's pretty good. It's good that we're at the correct, or that seems like a good sign that we are at the correct level. Yeah, this way. <laughs> okay, and here we go. We still got two gems, good, good, or jewels. Jeez. Oh, and they only move. Good. So I was going to say, if one moved out of the way, I think I would have enough room to squeeze by. <laughs> that was pretty cute, I gotta say. Tool pea glove. I got the pea glove. It's probably a little wet. Um, obviously the power glove. 
Power Glove strikes objects during travel. It can remove or push obstacles out of the way. What? Do I like move forward when I'd use it? Oh no, I just bam, bam. Wow, what? Like, I don't remember this ability. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Okay. I feel like, I mean, okay, I understand. They didn't want to be exactly like, uh, like Link to the Past or anything, but I feel like that really should have been doable with, like, his skates or just regular dashing into objects like that. It's a little weird that they made a whole tool for it. Alright, see, like, I really feel like this should knock that down. It shakes the whole screen and everything, but whatever. Also, the power glove just sounds exactly like that. Watch. <laughs> oh well. Hand pan. What happens if I use hand pan while I'm right up against it? I don't get hurt. That's weird. And duplicator, very nice. But the real question is, can I bomb these walls? Oh yes, I can walk right behind them. I'm stupid. <laughs> Secret sign. And another secret sign. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Or, that's very cool. Let me use just one, though, so I can hold on to its spot. Wide shock blow. Oh, against all. Oh my god. So now Jack and Cecilia both have one move that hits everybody on the field, regardless of their grouping. And the grouping in this game is probably one of the more annoying, or one of the biggest issues I have. Let's use Secret Sign on Heal Blade. I, I definitely... Heal Blade is so useful. Status and everything. Okay, and the fact that it's showing... One of the grapple spots. And you can push it. So do I want to push it down? No, I want to push it across. That's what it does. It doesn't... It punches the ground... Okay, it punches the ground if uh, there's nothing nearby. But if there is something nearby, the Power Glove punches it forward. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, anyway. Ooh. Oh, that's. I was about to say, what is that? It's the thing I've been looking for this whole time. Oh, should have healed. Should have seen this coming. A pterodactyl dragon with dreadlocks? What am I looking at? No, it's, it's a mech drake. That makes way more sense. <laughs> But the mech drake is going to be going down. Let's, let's start with phaser just to see if that does a decent amount. Let's go with divide shot to see if that can do anything. And we'll go to high shield just as a kind of way to start out. And I think once Cecilia... Okay, good. That missed. Oh, crap. I was going to say, once Cecilia gets her Mystic, I was going to do something. But I completely lost track of what I was going to do, because that was frustrating. Alright, at least it missed Cecilia. Is Cecilia still... Does she have that equipped still? Hang on. No. So should I? I could just do Lock State. But she's not fast enough. Hmm. I really don't want to risk it. And I have all three. The only issue with that fight before was that I only had Cecilia. So having her with something like this was really frustrating. But if I have all three of them, it's not that big a deal. Let's try Rocket Launcher this time. And he can't do squat. He could attack, but that's about it. Let's use a Violet Rose on yourself. And Cecilia really should just use Lock State. So let's try it. I bet he's gonna like use Silence or something right before I get a chance, yep. So frustrating, but okay.
Okay, arm lock on, rocket launcher. I really don't want Jack to waste another freaking uh, Violet Rose. Oh, but I do have Serenade. Maybe it was the Serenade. I think that does uh, restore or whatever it is that gets rid of uh, status ailments. So let's see. Because even if um, Jack and Rudy both stay silenced, yes, we can still do a good amount of damage with Rudy with his arm lock on and whatnot. Yeah, 2700 not bad at all. Let's switch over to the hand cannon just so that we don't waste a bullet if we do happen to miss. Accelerator with... I guess let's just go for Magnum Fang. It seems good. And then Mystic on... There was something I wanted to use Mystic on and I completely blink... I'm completely blanking on what it is now. So I guess I'll just go White Robe for Lock State. Because with Lock State, at least if it... I think that would make it so I could unequip Cecilia's uh, thing. I think it... Uh, I don't know. It might be that they made it so once you change equipment, that kind of gets rid of lock state. Because otherwise, you could just equip whatever you want and then get lock state so that you don't have to worry about it and then just unequip, which is what I'm doing. But to be able to do it constantly would be a little rough. Maybe not. Rocket launcher back on. Oh, I didn't look to see how much that did. Hmm. I guess I'll just keep it up. Keep it up. And Cecilia will slow down. Slow down might be good if it works. Oh, I should have healed. I knew there was something I wanted to do with Cecilia's magic. Oh boy. Alright, 2000 isn't bad for squishy magnum thing. Laser breath shouldn't be too bad against her, I don't think. Oh god, it was nothing against her. Good, good, good. Continue with the lock on for Rudy, because that's definitely his max damage. Magnum Fang, and then switch over to a Remedy to kind of top everybody off. Resonance Wave. I'm so glad everyone got healed up right before that wasn't too tough, but it was... Or it wasn't too scary, but it was pretty tough. Back to arm lock on for rocket launcher. Jack can do summon guardian, which he has the ice one. I'm trying to think if ice would be good against... In my mind, it would not be good against a mechanical drake, just because kind of the whole point about robots, if you want to think about it this broadly, is that cold doesn't affect them. So I'm thinking I should keep up with Magnum Fang. And Dark Magic shouldn't do anything extra. Nothing worse, either. I guess Mystic on Potion Berries for now. Because I did find uh, that um, like isolated merchant guy um, that sells good equipment. I believe he also sold um, potion berries. So if I really wanted to, I could uh, get enough Gela to max out potion berries and just have roughly a hundred of those and more or less not have to worry. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. That one's gone. Go with hand cannon. Let's not use his arm lock on, though. Let's go for that 99%, just leave it at that, and try to build up his force. Maybe we can use um, his newest one, like we did with Cecilia before. And let's get back to Remedy, keep everybody healed and happy. Alright. Hmm. 
Jack has Sonic Vision, that stuff's good. Celia has High Guardian, but she also needs to heal herself, so... And I'm pretty sure her heal will be more than enough to bring her back to full. <laughs> Don't hit me, I'm, I've got a heal. Condition green as well, very nice. Oh, not attack. Alright, I lost track of what I was doing. Magnum Fang. Dual cast. Let's try... Let's try something kind of funny. Let's do light and darkness. Hm. I wonder if dual cast... Well, I guess we'll find out. I was... I was kind of wondering... I'm kind of wondering if doing certain... A certain... Oh, too late. I was thinking maybe certain combinations of dual cast magics do rare or unique effects. Probably not. How many goes? 6,000. Jack and 7,000. Could have used the lucky card there, but... This must be one of the Gemini circuits that Professor Emma is looking for. We can get two of these Gemini circuits. Emma can complete the proto wing. Let's get back to Adlahide. Maybe our good captain and his gang have found the second Gemini circuit. Gemini circ acquired. Oh. I mean, I have a teleport spell. Well, let's go for it. <laughs> so yeah, that's just in case you did not get a teleport spell. Oh. While we're here, give me this. Why not, right? I'm sure there's no need for them, but I could grab all of them on the way out, couldn't I? Yeah, let's hold on to them, just for fun. <laughs> escape. So yeah, maybe escape only would have brought you back to that first area right there. Or maybe there was no way back there. Oh. Yes, yes, we have the black, black card, the black pass or whatever, so... I'm nearly positive... Oh, why did I just come all the way back over to this thing when I can teleport? Ugh. Oop, not invisible. Teleport to Adlahide. Where Professor, Professor Emma is. And where there's also uh, an inn and a way to recharge, reload, excuse me, my ammo. Oops. And... I guess. Oh, and now that I've done that, let's check in with the committee again. See if they finally want some money. So, money, money, money. I have it. Do you want it? I really thought. Oh, well. All right. And now, let's see. One thing that was bothering me for a long time. Basic fighting? No thanks. There's a slot to insert something, so... Pass for the black market? Yes! I knew there was something I could get. Oh, and it's just this. What can I do for you? Oh, look at this. Everything is good. Okay. Okay. Oh, and the potion berries, so yeah. Just like I was saying. Alright, so... We're just gonna buy all this stuff, I suppose. Sword. Wait. There isn't one for Jack? Come on. <laughs> that is infuriating. Why would they do that to me? Oh my god. So everyone's got some nice new equipment. Or, not everyone. They arrange that stuff. Bam. Oh, and the black pass is just gone? This didn't close, did it? Okay, phew. For a moment I thought, like, you only had one shot to buy stuff. If you go in and then walk out without... Or if you don't have enough money when you walk in, then you're kind of screwed. But that's not the case. It just stays open forever. Kind of weird. These twins. Alright. There's, um... I did get a new arm that I could upgrade. Wait, what? Emma was here. <laughs> uh, let me see what I can do with this. Yeah. 
now they're gonna want money from me like in just one or two more scenes or something like right after I talk to Emma will probably trigger them wanting more money <laughs> and I think Emma must be in the castle there are going to be new homes built by the repair crew I wish I could live in a new home they're for people that don't have homes currently oh wait didn't they say hang on oh never mind apparently I was gonna say, they said Bartholomew was at the hospital, so I kinda wanted to pop in there and see if people were, like, talking about the captain that just left or something along those lines. I thought that would've been funny dialogue, but apparently fuck me. So, we got one of the Gemini circuits already. It took longer than you think, Emma. We can get to work as soon as we have the other one. But there's an issue, of course. Professor Emma, I have an important message. We received a transmission from the team on the Sweet Candy. What sort of transmission? Like carrier pigeon? Continue. One Gemini circuit found, returning to base. That kind of does seem like it would be a carrier pigeon mes message. <laughs> oh boy, we can start the work soon. This is Sweet Candy. Mayday, Mayday, under attack, requesting backup. This is happening at the worst possible time. Oh, it just goes... Is it going right into it? That wouldn't really make sense, but... That's fine. Gee whiz! What the hell is that? Definitely doesn't look good. Just as we... Just as we found one of those Gemini circuits, we get this. Do you have any special weapons or something? This is a trade ship, not the USS Missouri. You haven't got a... I'm, I'm just thrown off that they... made a USS Missouri joke, or reference. I wonder if the original dialogue was some famous Japanese ship or something. Anyway. You haven't got a clue, have you? This is a game. You should always carry a special weapon. I think that was supposed to be, this isn't a game. Man, the translation typos get more and more prevalent as you get further into the game, that's for sure. Huh. Woo, grab onto me! No, doggone it, way! My poor ship, the sweet candy, she's sinking. All hands abandoned ship? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, actually, a, like, abandoned ship ship is sinking. I guess that makes sense. Because after this is finished, we should have the means to create a better flying machine, so there isn't really a point to have the sweet candy at all anymore. Oh, that's horrible. Jeez, I'm drenched. Hey, don't look at me. What happened? The ship is gone. Did you get the Gemini circuit? Is it okay? What a horrific creature. A stone mermaid. I'm sorry, we were too busy getting away from the monster. The Gemini circuit is probably at the bottom of the inner sea by now. So the proto-wing upgrade will... I am deeply sorry. We must get back to Adelheid so we can regroup our thoughts. Oh, my sweet candy. Rest in peace. Poor Bartholomew. Poor sweet candy. Honestly. So, the other Gemini circuit is at the bottom of the sea. My poor sweet candy. Ah, this is so frustrating. Does this mean that all our efforts were for nothing? Even McDullen did a good job. Thank you, my lady. The Gemini circuits only work as a pair. I guess we have to give up our idea now that the other circuit is buried deep beneath the ocean. Too bad. That doesn't seem good. Wait, what? Was that just uh, supposed to be like inner monologue or the narrator saying that or something? Or maybe everyone was supposed to be saying, too bad, like all at once or something. Hmm. Or maybe that was supposed to be the programmer talking to the player. I don't know. Don't give up, everyone. There must be another way. Okay. Candy. And Pansy ears are twitching. Okay. 
Well, we have one Gemini circuit down, and I consider that a successful situation we are in. So, we are going to save the game real quick. And then, once we go over to this little bookshelf here that has a Link in his pajamas right there, right at the top. Everybody see that? Um, I'll take this time to say goodbye and say thank you for watching. Um, yeah, we ran around today uh, with Rudy finally back in the group, which was very nice. Well, actually, hang on. Let me see if this works. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, it really seems like we have more mobility. We've got one of the Gemini circuits. We'll probably be getting the other one soon. So, yeah, feel free to check out Twitch if you want to see me live. And... Yeah, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough as much as I have been, because I've been getting lost in a couple, lost and a little frustrated in more than a couple of places. But all in all, it's been really, really fun and really enjoyable. So, thank you so much for being here, and yeah, have a good one, everybody.